Well, that was a pretty quick look uh, approach to uh, log analysis. And the water saturation uh, method, uh, called the reservoir engineer's method or Buckles number method, uh, tends to be uh, something that needs calibration from time to time. And uh, one of the methods that's now widely used uh, are uh, the Archie's water saturation equations and all the derivative equations that have a shale corrections built in them based on Archie's work. Mr. Archie, uh, sitting in his laboratory around 1940, uh, was wondering what he could learn about rocks in the laboratory that had not yet been, been discovered. And uh, the first thing he discovered was that if he took a piece of rock and measured the resistivity of that piece of rock when it was full of water, and compared it to the resistivity of the water itself, that was the R0 divided by RW, that's uh, at the top of the screen. R0, the resistivity of the rock full of water. RW, the resistivity of the water. Divide those two numbers out, that ratio, turns out to be a constant for a particular chunk of rock. You can double the RW, and it doubles R0, and so on. So he found this uh, constant, he called it the formation factor. And uh, that was new news at the time, 1941 or 42, when he published. He also discovered, of course, that formation factor uh, is related to porosity. Now, he hoped it was a very uh, a simple relationship initially. He thought it was 1 over porosity squared. And that would have fit with uh, a lot of previous uh, uh, science in, uh, in the world. Uh, many things are related to a power law. Uh, related to an item to the power 2. Turns out that uh, it's not uh, 1 over porosity squared, but A over porosity to the power M. And quite often A is defaulted to 1 and M is defaulted to 2, but uh, we can measure these uh, values in the lab uh, by first finding the formation factor and then plotting that data versus the porosity. The graph on the right does that formation factor on the vertical axis, porosity on the horizontal axis. And when you plot the data for a number of different rock samples, you'll see that on log-log uh, paper, you can uh, fit a straight line through that data. The slope of the straight line is m, and the intercept of the straight line at the bottom right corner is the value of a. You can force the line through an a of 1 and get a particular slope. Or you can let the regression line flow freely and uh, end up with the uh, slope being slightly different with a slightly different A value. Now, Archie's uh, data uh, ended up giving us an A of about 0.62 for sandstones and an M of 2.15. Those are the world average default numbers widely used today. This particular data comes from a project I worked on uh, many years ago probably 3,000, 4,000 miles away from where Mr. Archie worked, and yet the slope of my line, uh, 2.18 or 2.19, and the M of 0.6, awfully close to the world average numbers. So we're quite confident that we can use world average numbers when we don't have this laboratory data in sands and shaley sands. In the early days, the uh, there were no porosity logs, so this formation factor concept was used to calculate porosity from resistivity logs. The R0 term came from the shallow resistivity log, and RW was uh, found or known, and uh, we would end up calculating porosity from our resistivity logs. But Archie went further. He wanted to understand how water saturation and resistivity were connected. And he found the resistivity index. He abbreviated it with a capital I, shown on the top of our screen, as sometimes abbreviated RI in the literature. So resistivity index was the resistivity of the rock when it was saturated partly with water and partly with uh, gas, air in this laboratory experiment, divided by R0. That was the resistivity of the rock when it was full of water. And again, if he plots the I value, the resistivity index, on the vertical axis of a log-log graph and plots water saturation on the horizontal axis, we find another straight line. And for a single core plug now, we can get several data points because we can uh, 
saturate this uh, core plug with varying amounts of water running from 100% wet down to almost no water. And it uh, turns out again that uh, all this data can be fit reasonably well by a straight line on log log paper. The intercept at the bottom right must be at a resistivity index of 1 and go up from there. Now, transforming that into a useful equation, he found that saturation was 1 over the resistivity index to a power of uh, 1 over n. Turned out that n was mostly near 2, so this turns out to be the square root of 1 over the resistivity index. Looks a little complicated, and there are certainly uh, ways to make this look much prettier. The slope of the line on the graph is the value of n, and we do this work in the laboratory on a regular basis to find the values of a and m in the previous slide, and the value of n on this slide. The default value for n is 2.